I was dreaming to meet her. Eventually, God made it happen. And when Mama mounted the podium that day, as she been inside, I said, she's coming to wire, Mom. I said, no, she's coming. Ladies here, get ready for impartation of grace. Brothers, get ready. But ladies specifically, if you know you are called to ministry, as you see her today, remember, Elijah, Elisha, as you see her today, as you hear her minister, ready to pick your destiny. Brothers, ready because you are going to hear a lion voice in a woman body with Jesus' joy in your heart with a clapping and a standing ovation welcome with me mommy reverend Paula Ashudumen all the way for Britain live at Belkuta thank you mommy Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Can I hear your response better? Hallelujah. Oh. Praise the Lord. What a joy to be here this beautiful day. To see our future today, imagine. It's amazing what God is doing. And it has made us, I'm talking about a generation, to be relaxed in God, that the future is secured. If you want to clap, clap for that. Our future is secured. Is secured. Praise the Lord. I remember some years ago when I was asking God questions. When I saw the decadence in the land, and particularly in Christendom, and I began to ask Him, What's the hope of tomorrow? And the Lord said to me, Years ago, some people ask the same question about your generation. And here you are doing great in the kingdom of God. He said, relax. The future generation is in my hand. I am raising up giants. I'm raising up great people. There will be an answer to the cry of your heart. And here we are today. Can you lift your hands to heaven and celebrate in this beautiful day? Give God a shout of praise. Give him a shout of praise. Give God a shout. A shout of praise. Hallelujah. You have done so much for us, Father. We cannot but say thank you. Lift your hands above your head and let's pray together this beautiful day. Father, we thank you. We thank you for what you have made our eyes to see. We thank you for what you have made our ears to hear. We thank you, Jehovah God, for the future that we are seeing in our physical eyes, even now or today. We bless your name, Father. Lord, we have come for this particular moment. Thank you for what you have been doing since the inception of YMR, and particularly this year's edition. Thank you for this moment, for what you are about to do. And thank you for what you will yet do as the program keeps running. I ask, oh God, that the people you have sent me to today, Father, I decree they will not miss your voice in the name of our Lord Jesus. 
Lord, you will position us for the great exploits that is awaiting us. Thank you, bless the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Can I hear a better amen in the house? Can I hear you shout a big amen? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please take your seat. I want to appreciate God's servant. Be Daniel. Well done. The Lord bless and honor you. Multiply you on every side. Can you clap? Can you clap for him? Can you do it? Can you clap? Can you clap and celebrate this great man of God? Thank you. Thank you for what you are doing. Thank you for being a voice at this time. And the God of heaven will keep magnifying your voice, amplifying your voice, and taking you further in the name of Jesus. We love you. We celebrate you. We are ever proud of you. And we know that we have not seen anything yet. It can only get better. God bless you. Can you celebrate him one more time? And let me celebrate my beautiful sister. Oh, beautiful inside and outside. You know, men of God, they have eyes for good things. Praise the Lord. You are so beautiful. Can you please let me celebrate her? Celebrate her. Thank you for the great job you are doing. The Lord bless and honor you in Jesus' mighty name. And my dear Pastor Ching Tong, thank you for that powerful message. Thank you for, for, for all that you are doing. Can you celebrate the man of God also? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I celebrate all the leaders in the house, all the pastors in the house, every one of us that are connected, you know, to making this meeting what it is today. The Lord will bless you real good in Jesus' mighty name. And I celebrate every one of you that is seated here today. Yes, can you clap for yourself? Clap for yourself. Thank God you are here. Thank God you are here. There is somebody that is emerging from you today. And who is that person who you have been called to be? Uh -huh. Who you are now may not look like what you are thinking, but somebody is emerging out of you. It is two of you inside of you. The who you are now and the who you are to be. But I came this afternoon, this morning, I think we are still in the morning, to call out who you are meant to be. You will not miss who you are meant to be in the name of our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I bring greetings from my husband, Apostle Lawrence Achidume. Can you please celebrate him for me? Celebrate him for me. And I have many of my children around. Please celebrate them. Celebrate all my children that came with me, to me, Precious, Sam, Abel, all of them. Please celebrate them. And David, please celebrate them for me. Hallelujah. Witness. Can you scream to your neighbor? Say, witness. Can you shout it like somebody that has been blessed in this meeting? Come on, shout it better. Can you scream it and hallow it? More like that. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I tried to check what the Holy Spirit wanted me to pass across to us today. Looking at that word, witness. Maybe I will relating, I will be relating witness. Jerry, you are there. Okay, I didn't know you people are there. I will be relating my witness to bearing evidence and result in life. I will be looking at it, you carrying evidence, being an evidence of God's power. Some time ago I wrote, and I said, the world is tired of Christians that have nothing to show. We were not called to do gymnastics. We were called to produce results. So if you are writing, please write it down. I am called. I was called. I am called to produce results. Thank God for tongues. Thank God for the Holy Ghost demonstration. 
But beyond demonstration, beyond gymnastics that we do, ladies and gentlemen, we are called to produce results. And as your hands will be lifted, lift up your right hand. at you and say, eh, is this you? Can it be you? After this conference, I want to decree upon as many as at the sound of my voice, you will generate an exclamation mark. I will say, eh, is this Folake? Is this Daniel? Is this Nifemi? So she can do like this. You mean she can do like this? After this conference, that will be your testimony. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a naturally very quiet person. And many people have asked such questions before in my life. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? But Nazareth shocked the world. Because out of Nazareth came the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I prophesy unto you today, whoever has been looking down at you, as a wonder to behold after now. I don't know what I'm talking to anybody here. If I'm talking to you, can I hear you scream? I am a wonder to behold. Hallelujah. In Matthew chapter 13 and verse 55. I will read from verse 54. The Bible says when he was come into his own country, he taught them in their synagogue in so much that they were astonished. And they said, whence are this man, this wisdom and this mighty works? Is not this the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary? And his brethren James and Joseph and Simon and Judas? And his sisters, are they not all with us? Whence then at this man all these things? That was an exclamation. They were wondering, how did the carpenter's son begin to do mighty works? How will a carpenter's son begin to do things that are astonishing to the human ears? You are the next. I don't think I'm where people respond very well. I say you are the next. You will be an evidence. There will be results in your life. There will be results that is commensurate to your season. Your life will command an exclamation and not an explanation. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In Acts chapter 17, I'm going somewhere. Please follow me and make sure you don't lose me. Acts 17 verse 6. And when they found them not... They drew Jason and certain brethren, the rulers of the city, saying, These are the men that have turned their world upside down. These are the troublemakers of the land. Men and women that are spreading righteousness and making demons to quake. These are the men. After this retreat, I want to decree wherever you come from, they will point a finger to you that you are the man that is causing a revolution in the name of our Lord Jesus. All right, let's go to where I'm going. Three regions of the heart, or three regions of three dimensions that is expected
protected. <laughs> For you to be seen and known as a witness. Jesus was living the half. And he said to them in Luke 24 and verse 49. He said, tarry in the city of Jerusalem until what? You are endued with power. Before empowerment is a place of tarrying, waiting upon the Lord so that you will be a solution, an answer, and a dissolver of doubt. These three regions, please give me your attention. I'm trying to mind my time. The first region in the this is the region of heaven please follow me any man that will be a witness or any man that will stand to witness to be an answer to people's question to be a solution giver a doubt dissolver one that commands the attention of men. Heaven must know you. If heaven don't know you, heaven will not announce you. If heaven does not be a record of who you are, ladies and gentlemen, you may be making noise. Your noise may have little impact. But your noise, your voice will never last or stand the test of time. Recently, God spoke to me and said, salvation is the only gift that I gave to men. Every other thing that will come out of your life is a reward. A reward of sacrifices, a reward of discipline, a reward of actions, instructions that you follow by the leading of the Holy Spirit. If heaven does not know you, heaven will not project you. If heaven does not know you, heaven will not authenticate your actions. If heaven does not know you, heaven will not supervise you to stand and be an attention. I mean, to, to, to stand to command the attention of men. Please, I'm going somewhere. There is a level of engagement that you have with God that makes God to stand up to endorse you. Yes. General prophecies covers all of us. I want to make you great. I want to do this. They are true. I believe it. But hear me. If ever does not know you as a unique being, your level of greatness will be at the multitude level. But there are specific graces that God drops upon men that goes the extra mile to say father I want all of you not some of you please give me your attention all of you father all I want is you all I need is you nobody wakes up and find themselves at the top you don't sleep and wake up and suddenly meet yourself at the top. You climbed the staircase of life. What makes you to climb is a function of your engagement with God that makes God to say, look, this is my well beloved son in whom I am well pleased. He didn't finish there. He said, make sure you hear him. There's a level of engagement you have with God.
God, ladies and gentlemen, before you pray, he has answered. There are men that praise, he answered. There are men that before they pray, he has answered. Why? There is an engagement. There is a relationship. There is a connection. There is that intimacy with them that makes heaven to say, yes, this is my son. Why did he introduce Job to the devil? It was a level of engagement that Job has with the Lord that makes him to introduce him to the devil because God knew that I know that Job will not he will not default he will not Job will not Job will not why I have a connection with him we are seeking power we are seeking to be anointed we are seeking to be anointed listen to this before the anointing, before the anointing comes the anointer. If you are not connected with the anointer, the anointing will not flow. It's good to desire grace. It's good to desire power. But I bet you, desire and engagement with the forces of heaven. That will make him to stand. To put his hand at your back and present you. It doesn't matter what you are going through. He is a backup that doesn't back out. He backs you up in life. Why? Because of that connectivity. I went through scriptures and I saw Joshua engaging the forces of heaven. Looking at the sun and telling the sun, stand. Mood, stand, and God honored him. Bible says there has not been any day like that before then and after then. But when I was studying, the Lord said to me, Such days they are coming back. And who will orchestrate that day to come? Where are they? Where are they? Where are the giants of the Lord that will start? Look at the sun. Say, son, I am on assignment. Yoruba, as we say, Now, a son, son, S-U-N, is, is a messenger. I am on assignment for the master. You can't stop me. You can't. You can't. And Joshua said, stand there. Moon, stand there. And heaven honored him. Listen to me. Heaven did not honor him because he ate bounded yam. Heaven honored him because he has an engagement with the power of the Holy Spirit. Am I blessing anybody today? Look at your neighbor. Say, get engaged. Get engaged. Get engaged. I'm not telling you to get engaged with a girl. Now that I'm asking you to get engaged with a boy. I'm talking about the engagement. I'm talking about building up your spiritual capacity that will make you to command the attention of men. Bible says in the book of Timothy, he said, Elijah was a man of like passion unto us. Did you read it in your Bible? James. Sorry, it's in the James. The Bible says in James 5, 18, Elijah was a man of like passion unto us. He looked and he said, let there be no rain for three and a half years. And God honored him. Somebody here, if your amen can sound louder than your neighbor, I see heaven honoring your voice. I'm not hearing you. I'm not hearing your amen. God will honor your voice. 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 We are those that are hearing me. God will honor your voice. Engagement. Engagement. The Bible says when it was time for rain to fall again, he engaged heaven. Bible makes us to understand that he bowed, put his head under his two knees, kneeling down to ask God, Father, let rain fall. And the heavens were opened again. There's a scripture that I saw in Revelation chapter 11 verse 6. 
Is somebody hearing me here? He said, these people have power to shut heaven that it will not rain in the days of their prophecy. Read it again. Everybody, let's read it together. One to go. This have power to shut heaven so that no rain falls in the days of their prophecy. Do you know the meaning of that? My prophecy is about to be established. Rain wants to fall. And I stand by factor of my engagement with heaven. And I say for now, <laughs> prophecy is about to manifest. I'm about to do a crusade. I'm about to affect people's life. Rain cannot stop. And the Bible says they have the power, they have the power to shut heaven so that heaven does not rain because somebody is on assignment. Come on, look at your neighbor, say, I'm on assignment. I'm not hearing you. Come on, shout it better, say, I'm on assignment. Hey, I'm not hearing you. Come on, shout it, say, I'm on assignment. I'm not hearing you. Come on, shout it, come on, shout it, shout, shout, shout it, say, I'm on assignment. It takes your engagement with heaven to destroy every detractors of destiny to make sure that heaven listen to me when you call Psalm 40 says I prayed unto the Lord I cried unto the Lord he inclined his ears to hear me he brought me out of the horrible pit he brought me out of the merry clay he set my feet upon a rock to stay the Bible says he established my going how did that apple an engagement with heaven we are not the same look at your neighbor say we are not the same tell him or her say we may look alike but we are not the same I'm not hearing you shut it on that person say ah, we are not the same now stand up and tell yourself look at your neighbor say I am different from you we are not the same our uniqueness and our special quality is a function of our engagement with God you do it over feeding and demonstrate the power of the Holy Ghost no no sir you don't sleep 24 hours of the day and demonstrate the power of the Holy Ghost. There are people that have engaged the forces of heaven. When others are sleeping, they are up. When others, ladies and gentlemen, they are eating, they are saying, Father, it's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you. It's, about you. it's not partial. But he trusts us differently. According to our level of engagement with him. Am I talking to somebody here? Men and women that makes God kingdom their concern. I was preaching some time ago. I said, what is the concern of your life? Is your concern about who to marry? Is your concern about the money to have? Excuse me. Scripture is real. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing they are jala to be added. The original is that kingdom. How passionate, how ready, you are ready to pay the price. When my mates were sleeping, I was crying unto the Lord. When my mates are eating, I was crying unto the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't engage him and you will be disgraced in life. It's not part of the package. Delay is not part of the package. Am I talking to you here? Bitterness is not part of the package. Rise to your feet and tell your neighbor, say, I am different from you. So the mark of our difference is a function of how we engage the forces of heaven. Some people ask question, how did she get there? Even me, I don't know how I got here. Even you, you don't know how you got there. But ladies and gentlemen, there is a hand behind the scene that is propelling a man that engaged heaven and heaven knows him. Heaven cannot know you and he will not announce you. If he has not announced you, he is still cooking you. Somebody say cook. Oh, do you know how we cook? Do you know the temperature that beans needs to use to be done is different from the temperature that rice needs to be done. 
Ladies and gentlemen, do you know the temperature you used to cook chicken? It's different from the temperature you used to cook, uh, uh, what do we call, okoroko stockfish. Am I talking to somebody here? How long they will stay on the fire is a function of their quality. Am I communicating here? Look at your neighbor say, God is cooking me, John. me and looked at me and said to me he said woman of God it was the early days let ladies listen to me here thank God Peter never was saying let ladies listen to me ladies listen to me I was just I just got married for the losses I was in my form four in school and I got married Allow my husband to be the leader, to be the pastor, because that is what he said. Taking care of my baby at the same time, I'm looking at time. Oh. I thought they said my time is up. Can I go? I think I've not finished, Shabby. All right. They said they gave me permission to come down. Can I come down? Aha. Uh -huh. They say anywhere I want, I can stay. That is freedom. Let your amen turn that to they receive your liberty. Anything that is caging you, I command it to be broken. So I broke the cage. <laughs> Are you here with me? What was I saying? Sit down. I'm not hearing you. I know that is the kind of story you people will like. Praise the Lord. So I hope I won't disturb you if I stay. All right. Good. And this lady came and looked at me. Why is a lady? Who is a lady that loves me here? Step forward. Step forward. Step forward. Wahala. Okay now. Praise the Lord. And Esther, go and see it down. Let me use her. You know me. Clap for her. Are you with me? She looked at me and said, You are a disgrace. I came to connect with you personally. I said, ah. somebody shouted, ah, that was how my mouth opened. But the Holy Spirit told me not to utter a word. I looked at her and said, you are a disgrace. You are a disgrace to our past. Their pastor is my husband. And you are a disgrace to the church. Ask me, what was my offense? My offense was that I was too quiet. And so, when they wanted me to be blah, 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 blah. I keep quiet, trusting upon the power of the Holy Ghost to respond.
to issues. But the things they wanted to see, they were not seeing. So I was like a disappointment. And so when she finished talking, this girl was younger in age. Even in status, I looked at her. I wanted to do my hand and give her a dirty slap. The Holy Spirit said, hold yourself. I did. You cannot be controlled if you are not engaged with the forces of to the Holy Ghost. I don't cry before men. I only cry before God. And he said, daughter, relax. I am cooking you. When I finish with you, the womb of we dilate and contract. And where there is dilation and contraction, you cannot stay in the womb forever. Time is a revealer. Am I communicating to you here? As many as are the sound of my voice, this is your time. Are you hearing me here? I said, Father, thank you. And she guest said to me, I will take you to the person that will teach you how to be a proper pastor's wife. I said to her, the Holy Spirit said I should say to her, say to her, when will you have the time to take me to that person that will teach me how to be a pastor? She said, anytime you are ready, I will take you there. Let your amen thunder. They that have mocked you as your amen they will bow down to you. Tell your neighbor, say, God is cooking me. Watch out. I'm about to be done. When I come out, I will shock you. Do you believe that? God trusts and trusts us. That's why He keeps us so that we don't come out before our time. At the same time, we don't tarry so that our time now passes us by. I'm being cooled. Sit down. And let me shock you. There is no hand to cookie. Even when you get to the top, it will still cook. Because when you are looking for success, is better than when you get success and you lack strategies to manage success. Are you here with me? Look at your neighbor. Say, everyone must know you. 
is when heaven knows you that heaven can direct you. Yes, I don't reply to the assaults of men. Hey. It is my result that answered them. Hey. You can doubt anything. Yes, you cannot doubt results. Yes, I stand here today and I prophesy upon your life. You will carry evidence. Talking to somebody here. Yeah. You will. Sit down. About two years after that, I was preaching somewhere. And this lady was in the audience. And the Holy Ghost came down. And there was commotion in the atmosphere. And people to fall under the power of the Holy Ghost. Am I communicating? And she was one of the first to fall down. They brought her to me. I stood. I looked at her. I just stretched my hand like this. She was on the floor again. They wanted to pick her. I told them, leave her there. And then the only ghost dramatized on her life. When the encounter finished, where my host kept me, she sneaked to meet me there and knelt Say, Mama, I am sorry. Let your amen thunder. They that have laughed at you, they will come to bow down to you. Say, your neighbor, say, Sit down. I need to run. Number two, not only ever should know you, air must know you. I can't finish my message, but I can stop at air and I will pray the remaining ones. Am I blessing anybody here? If does not know you and will not bow down to you. Are you here with me? Am I talking to you? In my name, you will cast out demons. You can use that name. If air does not know that there is a power walking in the inside of you, that command is attention. He will say, Talon sorrow. The sons of Skiv. They say, We want to do what Paul was doing. And the demons said, Jesus, we know. Paul, we know. Who are you? If your situation will respect you, it's a function of what is working. Some of us has been hungry before, but hunger respected us. Some of us, we have been afflicted before, but affliction 
Elisha respected us. Some of us, it looks as if they want us to see shame. But shame, look at us and say, not this one, not this one, not this one. Why? Because of what I carry. I know that my Redeemer is our light affliction is for a moment. It works a great weight of glory. Why we don't look at our situation? We look at the picture of our prophecy because our prophecy is eternal. Our situation is temporal. Are you hearing me? Am I blessing anybody? How can you stand and you address that in the name of Jesus? Get out and within a minute disappears. I'm not one of those that spend 30 minutes on casting out demons. It is a waste of my time. The Bible says, say it and I will do it. Cast them out and they will get out. Am I communicating it? Some years ago, I was staying to build a church. And I say, woman, listen to me. Race, bias, discrimination against gender still exists. Do you understand what I'm saying? But what you know is what we deliver you from the mayhem of this society. And look, a man came and say, Mama, I will undo that demon because he wanted to, to prove to me that I am a man. Anointing is no respecter of gender. Hello. But I respect men. Old, junk, whatever. So I said, go ahead, son. Go and deal with the demon. He was there. I was dealing with other cases. And the cases, I handled about five cases. He was still on one. Since he said he wanted to handle it as a man. I didn't do this to me. After one and a half hours, he came to me. Mama, can we combine anointing to cast this demon out? I said, what happened? He said, I've been on it for long. Nothing is happening. I said, it's okay. Let me quickly finish with this case. I said, you'll be going. Ladies and gentlemen, as I stepped into the, the door, I've not entered the room by the door. The demons began to cry. Why did you go and call this fire woman? In five minutes, the demons was out. And must know you to respect you. It is not everybody that cries. Ladies and gentlemen, we may pass through it. It is a passage. We are coming out. Man of God, I read the scripture again. He said, by thee, I live over my walls 
I said, I use the limitation of darkness as a platform to get to my destiny. Why? Because hell respected me. Don't just be tonguing. Command else attention. Am I communicating here? Lift up your right hand to heaven and let your amen turn up. And we bow down. Your situation will bow down. And we respect you. The content in the inside of you that commands health, respect. Are you hearing me? I know that my redeemer, he lived it. He said, I lay in Zion a stumbling stone. A rock of, of offense. They that believe it on me shall never be put to shame. Stretch your hands towards this altar and let your amen turn. You will not carry shame. Voice. And we respect you. And we honor you. And we bow down to you. Every force in your father's house. Every force in your mother's house. You, that you are dealing with I came with a mandate and what is that mandate from today they are disconnected from you on this ground step it well well the third place you should be known is at must know you to give up his riches for you many of the challenges of today is I want to make it I want to get rich Prosperity is our DNA. Did you hear what I said? You are created to make it. But listen, if you do not follow ethical principles of God, you will be a like an ignorant person that is chasing what she did not lose. Isaiah 45, verse 30, and I will stop there. Did I bless you today? I couldn't finish my message, but that is beautiful. Hallelujah. Please give me Isaiah 45, verse 30. I want to drop the microphone, quickly. Isaiah 45, verse three. Isaiah 45. Some play protocol breaker for me. I will give you the treasures of darkness. Eating 
riches of secretness that you may know that her, the Lord who call you by your name I, the God of history. Now listen, who dwells in darkness, who dwells in the secret places, the secret you know determines your lifting. The Bible says, there are treasures in dark that people's eyes are not open to. Riches in secret places. And God said, I will give it to you. The art is the limits. The fullness, not the smallness. So the earth should give what I need to me. But the earth must recognize the authority you carry. Your authority is a function of your con I think my time is up. That's why they huff it. Is that it? What happened? Stretch your hands towards me. Let me pray. Let me pray. Did I bless you today? If I bless you, can you shout hallelujah? Stretch your hands towards the altar. Let your amen sound. From today, as we enter into 2023, as your amen will thunder, I prophesy, ever we honor your voice. Prayers of yesteryears. Of January, prayers till November, even till yesterday. That looks as if it has not been answered. As your enemy will turn up, ever we honor your voice. If you will shout, Amen. I prophesy today, when else sees you, they will with haste run out of their hidden places. You are not a victim. You are not a prey. You are not a disadvantaged person. I command today, we bow down to you. Your situation will bow. And I pray that whatever you are looking for this year, 2022, is not over. I prophesy, receive your answer. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. I decree you are the one that we are waiting for. You will rise. You will rise. You will rise. You will rise. You Thank you, Father. Celebrate Jesus.